Here in this place, new light is streaming. Now is the darkness vanish away. See in this space, our fears and our dreamings brought here to you in the light of this day. Gather us in the lost and forsaken. Gather us in the blind and the lame. Call to us now and we shall awaken. We shall arise at the sound of our name. We are the young, our lives are a mystery. We are the old who yearn for your face. We have been sung throughout all of history, called to be light to the whole human race. Gather us in the rich and the haughty. Gather us in the proud and the strong. Give us a heart so meek and so lowly. Give us the courage to enter the song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. Sin, in the, sin is in the world, but the gift of Jesus brings forgiveness, grace, and wholeness. Let us give thanks and praise for God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you counsel your disciples to speak with boldness. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you assure us of God's love for us. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to live our faith without fear. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives, who reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side, denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped that we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me, like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my children, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you, who blaspheme you, fall upon me. 
Lord, in your great love, answer me. I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your kindness, answer me with your constant help. Answer me, O Lord, for boundless is your kindness and your great mercy towards me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, for his own are in bonds he spurns not. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the sea and whatever moves in them. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Our second reading today comes from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the one man, through one man sin entered the world, and through sin death. And thus death came to all men, insomuch as all sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses. Even those who did not sin after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who is to come. But the gift is not like the transgression. For if by the transgression of one many died, how many more did the grace of God, the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you will also testify. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, no secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your Father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid, you are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my Heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my Heavenly Father. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I often have conversations with people, and in those conversations, some people are very troubled. They're troubled because they have difficulty in their lives. And perhaps it's not a physical illness. Perhaps the difficulty is, is because they want to stand up for a particular principle. You know, sometimes when children come to visit with their boyfriend or girlfriend and they expect to sleep in the same room, and parents say, no, you have to sleep in separate rooms. You know, some sort of moral choice that oftentimes they feel ridiculed, they get laughed at, called old-fashioned. Sometimes then children will not talk to their parents and sort of, you know, walk away. And maybe they won't see them because of a moral stance that they have. And you know, many times when that happens, people feel that God is punishing them 
because they're doing what God they felt God wants them to do, to stand up for the morality that seems to be so lacking in the world. And yet, when we listen to the scriptures today, it seems that those that God chooses, that God chooses to proclaim his message, whether the prophetic message to the Israelites, that you know you've broken the covenant, you're not living as God told you to live. People don't like to be hear things. They don't want to be told that they were wrong, nor do they want to be told how to live their lives. Today we hear that in the book of Jeremiah. Now remember, Jeremiah was picked by God. And if you remember the very beginning of the book of the prophet Jeremiah, it's such a beautiful poem. Before you were born, I knew you. In your mother's womb, I formed you. And you know, it almost sounds like there is this intimate relationship between Jeremiah and God, and there was. But what do we often think when we have an intimate relationship with God? That somehow we are going to be protected from evil? That somehow we will never be troubled? And yet God gave him a message to go and tell the people. And what happens? Here Jeremiah tells us in the very first lines, I hear the whispering of many. There's terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. They're coming after him. They want him to stop doing what he is doing, what he was called for God. Perhaps he will be trapped, and then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. Very strong. Trying to get back at him for telling them the truth. And yet, he has hope in God. He has hope that eventually and eternally that God will triumph. He has that faith that God is with him like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. That eventually good will triumph over evil. And Jesus again reminds his disciples that same thing. Fear not. Because everything will be known. Fear not. Don't worry about what people can say or even do to you. Because this life is not worth it. What's more important is that we enter the kingdom of God. That we live in the light and not in the darkness. That we follow in the footsteps of Jesus, even if that footsteps may cost us. And being a disciple is costly. I have always said that. That it's not easy to be a disciple of Jesus. Many people say they are with their mouths, but not by their actions. Many times they will give in to society. And then Jesus once again reminds us how much we are loved by God. He says that even every hair on your head has been counted. Well, for me, that's getting a lot easier for our loving God. But think about that. Every hair on your head has been counted. And then tells us about some birds that what happens with the birds, that nothing goes unnoticed by God, and that we're worth more than the birds. The Lord reminds us that we must testify to the truth. We must acknowledge Jesus on this earth, because if we are ashamed of him on earth, he will be ashamed of us in heaven. So as Jesus says, fear not, I am with you. Be strong. Don't worry what this world can do to you. Worry instead about your soul and your salvation. For that, my friends, is eternal. We now profess what we believe. For I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, 
maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Without fear, we offer these prayers so that Jesus' words may inspire and change our world. We pray for the church, for courage to live the gospel of Christ and reject ridicule and fear. For those who take risks to support believers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a world that fights against racism, terror, or violence, and all that degrades human dignity, for a peaceful and just society, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those whose work or personal commitments require extraordinary courage, for all who set aside their safety or honor, for the good of others, especially all first responders, for those who neglect the call of their vocation to heal and protect all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of St. Michael who live in quiet fear due to illness or depression, for comfort in the Lord's presence and loves and loving support for family, neighbors, and friends and caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be welcomed into heaven. In a special way, this was my mother's uh, birthday week, so I offer this Mass in honor of her. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our strength, we thank you for sending your Son to show us to live boldly for others. Help us to be patient with those who are afraid and courageous in the face of those who promote or incite fear. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise, the glory of his name, for our good, the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of consolation, of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its actions we may make offerings of a heart pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy. For you are the one God living and true, existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you alone who are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessing and bring joy to the many of them by the glory of your light. And so in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, and gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them we too confess your name in exaltation, 
giving voice to every creature under heaven as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him through the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior. Made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and by rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might no longer live for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits of those who believe, so that in bringing to perfection his work in the world, he may sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, we O Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come, for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and ascension to your right hand, and as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in these offerings, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith, excuse me, you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your, blessed, with your apostles and saints in your kingdom, there with the whole order of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, 
May we glorify you through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a wave of God's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Friends, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. I am the good shepherd, and lay down my life for my sheep, says the Lord. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, it is good news is that our cameraman, will be back from his needed vacation, or his, you know, we all need some time away. So next week, our Sunday Mass will be recorded with a little more pomp, with some music, and to make it a little bit more festive. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy God, we praise thy name, Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim, all in heaven above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain, everlasting. Oh.